What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are diving back into the 07K swap on my 944 race car. We got the prototype oil pan finished. And that means that we get to throw the clutch, flywheel, bell housing, all that fun stuff on the oil pan and we get to mount this thing in the car for the final time. But before that, I got a lot of stuff that I got to do to this engine before we stab it back in the car. I started by pulling the engine out of the car, and then I went ahead and pulled the front accessory bracket. When I originally clearanced the front accessory bracket to fit the intake manifold, I did it with a Sawzall, and it wasn't real pretty, so I went back and cleaned all that up, and then I spray painted the whole front accessory bracket with a high temp black engine paint just so that it blends in a little bit better. Next up, I pulled the header off because I needed to replace the header gasket as well as I need to block the EGR ports on the head. I whipped up a couple carbon steel brackets, painted those and installed them. With all that work done, we can now move on to installing the oil pan. So this is the prototype oil pan that uh, Alan came up with. And basically what he had to do was take this upper pan and shave the whole front half of it off, weld in new sheet metal here, sheet metal here, and then recreate this flange to create enough clearance for the front cross member. From there, we're gonna be creating a whole new bottom sump for it as well as pickup tube for the oil pump. When you're installing this, make sure that you have your timing chain guide on the back. The other thing Alan found important when doing this was leaving the factory windage tray alone as well as the areas for the oil to drain back down. So we left as much intact as possible and only modified where we had to and I think it came out good. I'm gonna throw some uh, silicone all along this flange. Let's bolt it on. The RTV or the welds? <laughs> RTV. Yeah. Okay, the oil pan is now on. Honestly, that was more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. And that's because that chain guide that's on the back is incredibly difficult to get in place without taking the whole rear timing chain cover off, which uh, obviously I didn't want to have to do that. We tried to install the guide onto the pan and then install the pan and that just didn't work. So we fumbled around with that for a little bit. And then finally, I just took the guide off and I put it into place uh, and it actually sits there and is held captive pretty nicely. And then I was able to guide the oil pan in and those pins into the guide and we had it done pretty quickly. So whenever you go to do this, that's what you need to do. Now, we finally get to install the flywheel and clutch. All right, I went ahead and installed the flywheel. The flywheel and clutch package that we're using is from spec. They put together this kit uh, solely for the 07K in the 944. This is a lightweight aluminum flywheel. It has a replaceable uh, surface area, which is really nice. And then we've got the uh, 9X Engineering pilot bearing adapter hooked up as well. I went ahead and torqued all this down to 64 foot-pounds, and it looks good. Next up is the clutch itself. I went with a stage three from spec. So this uses a six puck disc, some sort of crazy friction material. I don't know, but it's gonna hold up to this build. It'll hold up if I decide to turbo it, whatever I do, this is gonna be good. Let's get this bolted on. Also, you'll want to note, there's a sticker that says flywheel side. Make sure that you install it correctly. With the clutch finished up, now we move on to the bell housing. I've showed this to you in other videos in this series. Uh, you can now see that the Solstice GXP throwout bearing is installed. So let's slap this thing on. There you have it, folks. Time to celebrate with a beer. We got the engine in with the bell housing, the oil pan, clutch, 
flywheel, all that stuff. It was actually a lot easier than we thought. Originally we thought we might have to drop the cross member down just a little bit to get it all to fit in there. But we were able to stick a jack stand under the torque tube in the back, raise it up enough, and with just removing the steering shaft, we were able to slide it right in. So that's awesome. It makes installation so much easier. We are moving right along. Alan is finishing up the design of the lower sump and the pickup tube. That'll be done any day now. And at that point, all we have to do is figure out the cooling system and get the car over to Performance Electronics to install the ECU and swap harness. And then it goes on the dyno and we see if all this was worth it. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.